yo, do you guys ever do the thing in solo queue where like if someone griefs you or like pisses you off, you go into their match history, go through all their ARAMs, find which girl they play with the most, and what then the uh oh. And then you try h- hitting up their girl and taking their girl from them as a way to get back for that solo queue game. Mm, can't say I've tried this. Are you loco doco or like what? What's going on here? Like, I, mean, I, I I don't do it. I don't do it. But I'm just wondering <laughs> if it's something you guys have done. What the yeah, fuck, Medios? You- so are you like a serial killer or some shit? Like you're tracking down people's fuck and you're like, yeah. Have you guys ever? Yo, like, I mean, if the jungler gets so late, upset what, what at else someone can you that do? you just. Do you find out where they live? Second blue, I don't know. You, you break, you break into their house. You, you know, you, you don't, you really steal that much, but you just like mess around a couple of things just to show that you don't care about money. It's just about making them fear for their lives. Okay, <laughs> all right. What it the was, fuck are you talking just about? Question. All right, just all right. a question. Harmless question. Just asking. It's it's the fucking next level of you know, people look up your op.gg, flame you for your win rate, games played, whatever. No, it's just. Medios, next step further. You just uh-huh. have to you just have to turn it into a YouTube series. Like I, I really <laughs> hated my job with this game, so I fucked his girlfriend. Like that has to be like episode one. Uh Medios, I'm you, actually are you taking notes? I'm in a happy relationship, so I'll pass, but <laughs> oh, yeah, well, maybe yeah. one of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. All three of us did happy relationships. The series we're, we're gonna have to step away from that one. <laughs> That's an idea for someone else. Who's terrorizing mm-hmm. the draft this time? Right here. Is it the both? C9. Yeah, like C9 definitely looks worse so far. Renekton in Italy. You know, I will say that Perks has some pretty fucking cool ults so far. I don't know how Silas is with with, uh, with Urgot ulti, but it's probably pretty cool. You kill somebody and then you get the fear reset too. It, there's some ults that you like, they sound good on paper and then they just aren't that yeah, good. Like Tarek, ult on Silas. Yeah, so like hard a, to actually get yeah. off. Because you have to have everyone himself. stacked on top of that tiny little circle. Whereas, like, Tarek himself can have the the link for the two different spots. And still, somehow, I won't get the ulti. What's up with that? Oh, Did shit. you ever rage at your Tarek? You're like, what? can you please put, like, one of them on a range champion instead of double melee? Really? I haven't, I haven't really had that. When I was playing with Ole, he would, like, W the melee to stun off of them. This is so unrelated to the draft, by the way. We're going to have to talk about the draft after this, but... You know, he goes to the stun, then he presses ulti, and none of the range get it. Um, uh, yeah, okay. C9 has to, like, turbo stomp lane, I think. I guess it could be Seraphine AD carry or support here. Uh, yeah, that's true. I don't think Tactical's ever going to play Seraphine, though. Yeah, it also doesn't look that good here, because they don't have an AD carry. MF. Oh, shit. Ezreal Seraphine? Mm, I don't really like that. Sound like a good lane. No. Sounds quite ass, actually. It's really weak. No fighting power. Yeah. You have to smurf on them with skill shots, but it can be annoying. And they're against Callista. I don't know whose draft is better. Both of them seem kind of weird. Yeah, t- TL's like 4 or 5. Took such a bad turn. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. really did. Ari 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 Ari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, C9's like so fucking all in on early game. This comp. Like, they don't have anything that even resembles scaling. Yeah. They really don't. And, and for that reason, I favor TL. Even though their backline is not high damage, they're high damage enough. It's like, yeah, Ari and Ezreal don't usually do damage, but like against fucking C9's comp, I think they're going to scale really well since no one is actually tanky or like scaling. I don't like the Ari pick into Silas because like I'm pretty sure that's a good matchup for just Silas. I mean, do you know about the matchup? Because I, I have no idea. Like, yeah, why, I've, why I've played this good? matchup quite a bit. Uh-huh. Really? Like, he just wins trades or what? No, I mean, like, Ari ult is fucking insane on Silas, and Ari, like, doesn't do enough damage to really bully him. Mm. The only thing Ari can do is, like, sometimes you can cancel his W with Charm, and then that can fuck him pretty bad. Oh, wait, that sounds super hard to do. Yeah, that seems like a mistake on Silas's part if he's not playing around that. Right? Like, yeah, exactly. Like Walk through that bush, I say that, and it never happens to me, and then, oh, Sven is gonna get shit on here. Ooh. <gasps> That's it? Wait, can he not Ezreal Q? He must uh, have. He, he must have used. Right. Yeah, his, like his only trying to shoot him before. How far is already I, giving the dick to Fudge? Yeah, e level I one. I have played this matchup from Renekton's side, and it, it felt like the most unplayable matchup in the whole fucking game. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is a really good pick by Alfari. I think Cian is just too all in on early game. Like, I think normally when you pick some shit like Renekton Italy, like you you pick it to play around it early, and then you balance and then it out. You have something else that's gonna like scale later i don't know like azir or some ad carry yeah and it's the same thing with Callista. like 
Yeah. It's usually early, but you probably want some scaling later. Oh shit! Here he the comes. Dive. The skill, the most skillful oh, thing in the entire six. video game. Here we go. Fudge is six. It's it's over. It's over. He's he's one shot. Or is, is he? he? Yep. He is. Yes. Bye bye. Guys, I've seen that so many times. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh my god! Wait, Fudge took a shot. But yeah, but is no. this good? Oh, what is it? Santorin's trying to hit six off the wave. No, he's waiting for the TP. Oh. Nope, yeah. still can't get it. Damn. Damn. That's like literally the the play. Like you have no Renekton. When Renekton hits six, just go top. There's nothing you can do about it. it you know if the jungler is here, by the way, they that he can just flash down the jungler. So there's actually no counterplay. Right? Like Santorin could just be standing there and then Fudge just flash W's him, he dies. Oh, Perks shit. ignited. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's Oh wait. It's a trade. Oh my god. Wow. That pretty well. Yeah, he did. He he did it instantly. That was a really nice reaction by him. He misses more. Like he look, he's down twenty CS. Oh, Jensen. He's gonna get auto to death. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Blabber? Oh, damn. Holy shit. Blabber hesitated, right? Oh for one for one millisecond he hesitated. Yeah, yeah. He could have had it, I think. Could he have? I don't know. I don't know. Like, because look how close he was at the end, right? Imagine he didn't throw the spear, and he just... Oh, yeah, yeah. ...went cat form and went for the jump. And, and he kind of stuttered for a second as well. So I think he, he could have got it, but that was pretty fucking uh, aggressive to trade flashes with Ari. It, it felt like he didn't think Ari had flash. Yeah. Or maybe maybe he 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 like he's fine with it, right? Because in the end, he's just taking... That was a good play either way. Flash or no flash. I, I, I like his play. You know, one thing I've always really disliked about playing Kalista in competitive is to make, get the most out of the champion, you basically have to go tier 2 boots, right? And then certain champions like Ezreal don't ever have to go boots. Like, they can go free boots or they just have to get it, like, super late. Uh -huh. And it, it creates a situation where at some point you're just going to be 1,100 gold behind on your first item, which means that they're going to have actually more fighting power than you. Like, 1v1 at least. Yeah, I don't know. I always got in discussions with my teammates, which is like, I feel like sometimes... I just don't want to go tier 2 boots because I just want to avoid that situation where I need my support to babysit me so that I can like... I'm playing Kalista, but I'm like actually losing the AD head to head. And that feels really shitty. And I feel like it's going to happen really soon because Ezreal has this super, super fast spike. He has Essence Weaver coming up. And Kalista's so behind on... I mean, she's not ahead enough where tier 2 boots is going to like even it up. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing that happens if you did an AD carry and then it's not Ezreal. And they just complete like Kraken Slayer and then you have like boots and quiver. Yeah. It's just like, well, I'm way weaker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and so I wanted them to make use of that timing more, but they ended up... Wait, earlier, what, wasn't Teal on drag? I could have sworn they traded drag for Herald earlier. Were these trades or... Yeah, this is well kind of getting owned. Yeah. Oh. oh. This? That, that looks so... Look particularly Wait. good. Oh, wow. let's oh go, God. boys. Is that going to work? Yeah, it's going to work. It's going to work. That was what? sick. Holy did Santorin miss his ult? How did that work? <laughs> yeah, that was whack. <laughs> it, they they did. They should have gotten two-second feared, right? Sven is dead here. Sven is dead. He has, he's, he's just exhausted. Dead, 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 dead. Exhausted. Oh, yeah, nice cleanse! Cleanse, but... Uh, this is this is lives. definitely Sven's really bad oh habit. Oh, my... Wait. Oh, my God. That was actually kind of nice. Yeah. That was that Ezreal was real fucking E to give Seraphine the alt angle to predict the flash. I don't know how much that was planned, but that that worked out pretty fucking nice for them. Yeah, I think I think, I think it was a predicted from Core. Yeah, it was predicted. Like with tact, I mean, I think Core's was for sure. But like, do you think he was like telling tactical to line no up the E well, to extend didn't, the ult? He doesn't need he to. Why does, need he doesn't it, need to extend the ult, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't change anything. Yeah, I don't, he probably didn't need it, but it still happened. Yeah, <laughs> still looked kind of cool. Could yeah, I mean, it could have been even more puggers. Okay, now Kalissa's in a terrible spot. Alfredo is also in a terrible spot. What happened Alfredo. to that unplayable matchup is uh, jungle happened. <laughs> what about the mid lane unplayable? Uh, uh, unplayable for Ari? <laughs> yeah. No, it, I, that one's not unplayable. Oh, okay. It's, it's just like, I don't think it's a good pick. I think it's better for Silas. But yeah. It's not unplayable. <laughs> I don't like the Ari either. <laughs> yeah. I think we're all in agreement that Ari is one of those like weird bait picks that like, in theory could be good, but then when you watch it do damage, you're like, no. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, the, the fear missed perks, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it did. And and I was gonna actually, say, like, how the fuck did he live or die? Sorry, Jensen should have been this fine is, there. This is so interesting yeah. to see. Like, first Blabber did not play Nidalee when it was actually good, and now that it's like not really. I mean, it's kind of meta, but he's playing really well. 
And he's going a weird build. Everfrost is not normal. You're supposed to go Night Harvester, right? Yeah, uh, that's more common for sure. Conquer yeah. Everfrost. Kinda Conquer crack. Everfrost is fucking weird. What the fuck? Wait, now that I'm thinking about it, what does Nidalee normally go? Is it Electrocute or, or what? Maybe it's like Harvest I mean, or Electrocute. People, don't, people don't always do the same thing. It's like Electrocute, Dark Harvest, or oh. Conquer usually. Oh. Is this a solo bolo? He's... He's dead. Dead. There's the ulti Solo! Steal. Oh, it's Ooh. a solo kill. It's a solo kill Eat. by Fudge. Good job, Fudge. Damn, Alfari's not making this matchup look unplayable for Renekton. <laughs> He's making it look unplayable for himself. Oh, wow. When you have two Everfrost, can you Everfrost, it, like, root into root? They just have the fattest chain CC in the whole world. It's like stun, spear, root, root, fucking... I don't know. They have so much, like, one by one CC. They should all get Everfrost. Just chain it. Five Everfrosts. Like... You yeah. just land a slow, and then you get five roots after. No diminishing return between the two. Yeah, well, well, where's the WoW devs here? We need diminishing returns in League. <laughs> back to back, Everfrost. I know, you're just like, what the fuck? These items are, like, chaining me to death. <laughs> TL seems really lost when Alfari, who's normally their, like, win con, is, is losing, right? And Core is not playing an engaged champion. So they get all these, like, good situations going there. For bot lane, they had a great situation going, and it doesn't seem to have any impact on the game at all. I mean, I think they're just looking to scale. This this first game is so cringe because they're going to lose soul really soon. They need to pick a time in the next seven minutes and that they're going to fight. I don't know how that's going to pretty gonna, soon. Yeah. I don't, really I, spike. Don't, I don't think they should be fighting now. This doesn't look good to me. I think they're yeah. just going to get wiped. I mean, it, it, you oh just, have, God, to, you just have to objectively... Oh. oh, We're going balls deep, boys. My that's That's too Lord? deep. That's too deep. Oh, that four one. man fucking slow oh. by fudge. Oh my god! And they're dead. Holy shit! Yeah, I don't think that's the way you want to do it. See, there's there's Wait, the Ezreal melt I was talking took about. Ezreal ult? How do you have four broken ass ults and you take the shitty one? He probably honestly misclicked in the clump because they're he all knocked up. Right, there's they're no all four of them knocked way up. You take Ezreal yeah. ult there. Yeah, they're that was stacked. literally that was literally the worst one. But like when people are knocked up, their hitboxes do not match their champ visually. Okay. So it's it, it you know he's just spamming it into the clump. Hecarim. Seraphine this was sick by Vulcan. Look at Arier. look what Vulcan did in the beginning too. He peeled the the counter engage, like so. There's no follow up, and then this combo right here. Oh, oh wow. I mean, I like C9 that they're just oh. always looking for the next play. Look at this. This is, this is probably gonna here. he's probably gonna get flash right, but he's not gonna kill. Yeah. Oh, oh no 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 no. That's not good, dude. Just get the flash there. That's that's a big win. Um. Oh well. Lucky that for you, you have Callista. There are people to counter that. Probably dead. Right there, Vulcan. He has close ulti, but I think they could have like maybe gotten chased down or some shit. I don't know. I, I think we actually had a totally off read on on the draft. Now that I'm looking back on it, they do have a full early game comp, but because the way TL drafted was so weak on bot bin bot side, Ari Ezreal Seraphine might be literally the shittiest three v three I've ever heard of. <laughs> and so like they're just gonna lose every objective until they scale. But like when is that? When you're losing the whole game, when are you gonna scale? I don't like, like Seraphine. Throw? And Ezreal, like, together as yeah, well for so a late-game carry. Like, you, you want someone that can, like, force a fight. Oh and that's not what Ezreal does. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh! oh. Centauran could have could have pressed his Ghost or his uh, his Chem Tank, right? Like, and gotten just a little bit more distance, but... He's tilted. He's 100% oh. tilted. You think so? Oh, I would man. be tilted if, if I was Hecarim in this game. I'd be like, we got this fucking godly... First three in the draft, and we rounded it out with hot garbage. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty shit. Ooh, this is getting awkward. It is getting Fudge awkward. Is Fudge might die. Dead. He has no flash. He's actually dead. He's actually dead. Yep. So if Fudge is going to die, they need to finish Baron fast. Ooh. Finish. Oh, it was at Alistair 1 HP for a second. It. Holy shit. It was at 1 Oops. HP. Fudge tried to stride breaker over the wall. Yeah. Uh, he just oh, right. misplayed. Yeah, I think Wait, he just he? misplayed. Mm -hmm. um, and that's so strong against like super mobile champs like everyone talks about mobility creep in this game Everyone has a million dashes. Everyone has a million fucking move speed, but like that's literally the counter. Oh My god, Jensen, Jensen is just getting gangbanged. This is Oh it's Everyone's wet the right now. All right, Blabber's hey. washed. He missed the fadeaway and then missed a leap on the Krug. Oh, I think no. Blabber's tilted. You know, I was actually watching uh, Jenko's stream Nidalee and when he when he jungles, it is like the highest APM shit I've ever seen. He's like he like spears crab. He predicts where crab is gonna be in like three seconds for his like his trap. He he's actually like 
or Nidalee is such a mechanical jungler just to fucking clear your camps. I thought sure, junglers had like I thought honestly oh. junglers had no hands, but <laughs> I mean, N Nidalee's one of a few. <laughs> if you no, the thing is, if you can play Nidalee, you know you have hands. But I think Karthus is. If you're a similar, disgusting you know? Hecarim Udyr player, get out of my sight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. That's what it was for. Yeah, dude. Oh shit. Wait, did he? Wait, I think Perks ulted Ezreal, but he lost vision. Yeah, Why does yeah, he want this Ezreal faded. so badly? <laughs> he just, it it he hurts, it. man. It hurts. You know what else hurts? A fucking Hecarim, Seraphine. Even oh. Ari and Urgot, I think, is better. Oh, good counter. Everyone, every time Vulcan goes oh. in. I don't think Urgot's ult's better. Oh, what the fuck? It's pretty fucking good. Where the hell is... Oh, he got eaten by Kalista. Yeah, yeah, oh? yeah. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, it's, oh, it's a throw. Oh, it's a throw. oh, it's over. It's actually a <laughs> oh, Holy wins. shit. TL just wins. Did you see that, Medios? He, he went in. <laughs> he went in, dude. Just like you wanted. So yeah, I, I think I think in that, order, that the best... That is the only thing he could have done there. The best ultis are probably Seraphine and Hecarim in the right situation. Hecarim, Hec uh, not like that, but like in a normal fight where he's not getting one shot. Dude, dude, there must be something wrong with Seraphine ult, like stealing it as Silas. Like it might be like too low damage or too slow. For him. You're too much CC. But isn't, isn't the CC just absolutely insane? I mean, it's good, but like, why are people not instantly stealing it? I, I feel like there's some weird shit about it. Yeah, I I, I don't know. But look at that 5-man Seraphine ulti. <laughs> I, I think yeah. that the ability is extremely strong. Yeah, I, I mean, it feels good for sure. Oh, uh, baby. Oh? This is awkward. They need to go faster, man. They're so slow. Okay, now they just lose Elder and they're gonna lose the fight immediately afterwards. Oh, God. Seraphine, perks a Seraphine ulti. Perks a Seraphine ulti. Use it, use it, use it. Oh, he got both! He got both! Whoa! Holy fuck! That was so bad, man. Two Whoa. second big ass CC on everyone. <laughs> I can see why he wouldn't want to do that. How about an Ezreal ult? Same thing minus the CC. Did you see how much damage it did? Like actually two though. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. I guess he's it gonna have zero. to settle for a big two second fucking taunt on everyone. It, it, it definitely Who did do zero it? damage, but. Hmm. I, it, it absolutely didn't do zero damage, let's be honest here, but but it was pretty fucking OP. Well, we can say that we were definitively wrong in one sense. Having a full early game comp is great if you can just execute. I think we're just scarred from watching C9 throw their early game comps like super hard. I mean, it, it's also like, we were saying we liked TL's 1, 2, 3 better. <laughs> that's true, that's true. They rounded it out so bad. Yeah. They're like, Ezreal, wait a sec, yikes. Ezreal Ari is true no damage. Yeah, I don't... The new band. I mean, true if it's no just damage. imagine if it was just like fucking, I don't know, like, Syndra Trist or some shit. I don't know, Trist's probably down, but it's just so different. The game is so different. You can actually kill something when when some, one of your teammates goes in. TL actually banned triple AD carry in the... Dude, it's because they were calling Perks an AD carry player. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, I was thinking... Seraphine's support has looked bad in two series now, and I feel like throughout the LCS, it's almost never really looked that good. I feel like, like Enchanter support in just... the support role. Yeah, exactly. I think I think like having a bot lane with an AD carry mid is great, and I think having a mid lane uh, can be pretty great because you know then you have this AD carry to play around with like a like a beefy support. But having in the support role just throws the whole comp like out of balance. So I think they should stop picking it for for support as much. Mm -hmm. Or just figure out a way to make it work. But I'm not sure what that is. One time, I had a coach who fucking... Uh, we were, like, scrimming in the middle of a set. We had a game where, like, we lost. And then he was yelling at me for, like, 20 minutes straight for the game. And then after that, before we go into the next game, I just went up to him and I was like, Yo, dude, like, I don't appreciate you berating me in front of everyone for, like, 20 minutes. I, I like, I don't think that's cool. And then he canceled the scrim so on the other team to go yell at me for another two hours. What? <laughs> it was crazy. What? All right, I got to think it, about it. All right, let's go to media sleep. Actually media. insane. All right. That's a little bit terrorizing. Uh, it probably wasn't Cloud9. It could have been Phoenix1 or 100 Thieves or Optic. We're getting a little bit uh, off track here. Let's go back. Yeah, <laughs> draft starting. We don't, we, don't need to, we don't need to call anyone out. We don't need to take. We don't need to call anyone out. We don't yeah, need to be calling anyone out, but I'm just saying here. you're going to have to predict who wins or loses this game. And if you're wrong, you're going to have to tell us who it is. Medios? Medios? What? Prediction. <laughs> what? For this game? Yeah, for this game. <laughs> what? For this game. <laughs> what? What? C9. <laughs> My chat's saying we probably don't need to call anyone out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yikes, guys! No. You know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> what a distasteful meme. <laughs> what I gotta say, guys, is I remember one time I heard a story about complexity, right? This is just a story. This is just a story. Actually, you know what? I don't want to talk. I don't want Let's just change the topic. Let's stop. Let's change the topic. Oh, yeah. oh, never mind. He doesn't have a story. <laughs> There's no story. <laughs> you know, guys, come back to the draft. Come back to the draft. Oh, well, <laughs> man. I had a pretty colorful story my first time meeting probably <laughs> you know i I'll, I'll think about sharing it if you think oh, about sharing it you're talking about videos <laughs> were, were you there for that one sneaky uh no but i'm pretty <laughs> sure they described it like you guys told me about it yeah it was pretty crazy <laughs> yeah stop talking about the story and just tell the story it's a little unpolitically correct for today's day and age <laughs> really <laughs> yeah y you have to ask hi about it really okay yeah we're gonna have. We're gonna demand. Pause, champ. We're gonna demand that uh, these stories be told. The people demand Deep, it. Dark esports stories. <sighs> you guys heard it here first, man. Medios is a coward. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, that that is what you heard. Oh yeah, Mister. I'm not gonna tell my story. I'm blackmailing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> release the story, and I'll release mine. Must have been right. Oh no, it's this again. Oh, dude, you're gonna get a good nope. first three. The pirate. Oh, shit, GP blind? Hmm. Wait, does GP really have a 32% win rate? That seems low. That's pretty bad, yeah. I think a lot of those were like Niles, Niles. though. <laughs> Straight back to uh, Silas. But they don't even... It's just blind pick Silas, not even seeing the enemy mid laner. I feel like only Maybe Perks they just think Silas shit. into not Orianna is good. Yeah, that's what they did last time, too. They banned or, Ori 4-5. It's, it's always about how how many good ults the enemy team has, right? And they already have three, so... Mm, true. I absolutely hate playing against GPS and AD carry. Not not because of his barrels, but his ulti is just so annoying. Oh, yeah. I mean, his ult's nasty. It's just like, okay, I can never fight 2v2 all in bot lane if GP has is, like, ever looking at me. Also, in team fights, I can't move. So, that seems pretty strong. <laughs> it's yeah, like, your, like the, your team engages, and, you, and then the GP ults just come down, and you're just like... Yeah, I got zero auto attacks off that entire fight because I'm not running forward through this shit. It's not happening. Yeah, he's just gonna get solo killed by it. Yeah, exactly. Scion into GP. Is that a I is that a thing? That doesn't seem like a thing. I think it's not that bad, honestly. Full tanks into GP typically do kind of well <laughs> because, like, back in the day, you wouldn't do it because he rents Klepto and gets eight million yeah. gold off you. But like, he'll so he'll get a lot of grass procs and stuff. But yeah, I'm just know, thinking I that. C9 needs Senate damage, bomb. right? Like It's surfing mid. I, I think this is a lot better than their last one for sure. Oh, please don't pick Ash. Don't do it. Okay. They need no. damage. No! It's close. Oh, I saw a Caitlyn hover. Oh, no, Caitlin don't hover. do that. Oh, yeah, we should definitely talk about the draft, though. I, I think TL won the draft absolutely without a doubt. I mean, they, they have a winning bot lane matchup. They have Seraphine mid, which is way better than Seraphine support. And th th their comp is pretty close to being Exodia, I think. Unkillable, high CC, good scaling. Not even a bad I, I like game. waiting till after the game to criticize the losing team's draft, so... I'll oh, yeah, you're off. right, you're right. You know what? You can't <laughs> be wrong kidding. if you don't make a prediction. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows, like, just because just you win the draft doesn't mean you win the game, but I, I really expect TL's bot lane to get ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I do think TL's got... A better comp. I'd rather be playing TL's draft for sure. I mean, you just... Oh. Pactool's trolling. They should get some damage in here. Yeah, they should get some damage on the reverse, but... Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh Jensen? Is Blabber gonna die? Or kill him? Jensen's fine. Oh! oh! Shit, Blabber's dead. Blabber's dead. Oh, no. That's so bad for Blabber. Jesus. Is it bad for him to die at level 2? Yeah, he's level Dude. 2. You know, you know what he was trying to do? I actually like the idea he was going for. It was super unlucky he died for it, but like, okay, so Jensen like pushed up and did the ward on Raptors really obviously, right? Yeah. So Blabber did red Krugs, and then Jensen's going to know he skipped Raptors, so you assume he went bottom side, but he just went like super fucking wide, like over the Baron pit for that gank. So it's a really high percent chance that that gank accomplishes a lot. Like Jensen had no idea where this was coming. He was hugging that yeah. side. I mean, he, I think he was trying to get him low enough to just like go cat form like flash wq him because he was really mm. close he might have even been able to get him but 100 mm. would have died to tower if he did yeah yeah i think he just needed to obviously avoid the snare he is fine but no that mm. i think that's really unlucky for blabber mm -hmm. i think yeah. overall though it wasn't a bad play to look for because like seraphine yeah. unbelievably fucked like even if just sandhorn's not there right then 
I think it's really important is jungle, and, and it's hard to get a feel for it when you're just watching games, but like knowing what information the enemy has, then like how you can exploit it, mm -hmm. like holes in their vision, that sort of thing. Really easy to abuse. It's also holes. weird too, because like you can slip into the pit past the crab from mm -hmm. the left side. Oh. Oh. That looks like a kill. Bye bye. That does look like a kill. I'll far see. That does look like a kill. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that's alright. I, th I thought of fire. What the fuck? It's core. Now he's just hard killing here. The wave's frozen too. C9 should try to keep them from pushing this in. I think. Could yeah. Um. Instead of just running away. I think this is really weird to allow Hecarim to push this in. He's gonna like maybe even get six here. First, I wanted to buy. His items are pretty awkward. Yeah, so I think sometimes ho sometimes holding the freeze is not worth it. It's it's just worth it to take the win of like they commit something to break it and and then you do something elsewhere oh. and get tempo elsewhere. Wait, did you, did you see yeah. that on the slide, Jensen? He walked into it. Oh, because it drags out. for a while. I see. Yeah. I, I, I didn't realize that he actually still got knocked up until you pointed it out. That is actually... Oh. Oh? Big fight top. Alfari's probably dead. I mean, I, I can't imagine he lives this. Ooh. Wow, that spear hits. Okay. Yeah. Well, that looked like it curved a little bit. Yeah, it, it was a headshot. It does suck for Alfari, obviously, but I think drag's Alfari also a, a pretty bit. good deal. Tilted there too. Yeah, he was camp. not happy about that one. Oh, yeah, he's probably nice. pissed because like he look, he has a ward and a try. He has pink and river, and he still gets killed. Yeah, yeah that's God true. Damn it, man. That's true. <laughs> it's like Sin is down almost so hard. Farm though. God damn. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. Holy shit. That's that's one of the best jokes uh, in all of Twitch chat. Maybe. That's a good one, me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Forehead. It was not easy to come up with. <laughs> it was not easy to come up with. I. I, I can tell, dude. It takes days, months sometimes to come up with a banger, but you can just whip it out in the middle of a stream. I love whipping it out anywhere, pretty much. <laughs> he tweeted out some meme about his name yesterday. Was it a, was it as funny as the Santa joke? <laughs> it might have might have been that funny. <laughs> now she's down 100 CS. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, just so poor. Do you guys think that in competitive, like... The Senna game should count because my CSD is so fucked from Senna games. I'm oh, just saying, guys. Dude. I should be it's like totally the Senna wink. <laughs> okay, I'll have you know, man. I was I was like fucking like 15 CSD excluding the Senna games. I'm, mm. I'm dude. If you take out all my bad games, I was fucking owning everybody. They're hmm. not bad games. You're fucking not supposed to CS. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm. I, I wasn't supposed to get any kills or assists in this game, only deaths, and that's what I did. All right. He performed his job. <laughs> his... I'm just trying to trigger you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Can we, we talk about how the, the one game that Sneaky has a bad Ezreal performance, it happens to be a scripter? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's super unlucky, dude. A little sus there, Mr. Sneaky. Are you playing Amogus? Because Ezreal that is very sus. <laughs> it's always laughing. It's making me laugh. So you're just literally laughing things. your own jokes. Do you guys not laugh Whoa. at your own jokes? Whoa! Only, only Holy really shit, it's fucking like triple geometry gangbang in the river. Did you see that? It was like Jackson fucking... missed everything. Oh, he got his thing cancelled! He got his thing cancelled. Every fight is so hard for C9 to kill anyone because you have to kill somebody through Senna's healing and her E and her ult shield and Seraphine. Senna's been there though. Uh, yeah, that's true. But also, yes, Tom Kench can she, eat when somebody. When she arrives. Yeah. When she arrives. But just theoretically, C9 has no damage to kill TLs think, anyone ever. I, I think it's I think once they get Grievous, yeah. it'll get a lot better. This is definitely an early Grievous type game. But who's going to mm. buy Grievous, man? Dude, you if you're suggesting really that Callista goes Grievous, I would rather Sven just FF before he buys an executioner who's calling on Callista. I, I would yeah, rather yeah, him I mean, actually I just say open, person. guys. It's pretty bad for Calista. I, I like his AoE. Like Italy, even oh. Silas. Oh wow, they got him to thirty percent HP down, and then he just got eaten by TK. Yeah, now that now all of their abilities are gone. Just run, 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 run. You can't oh win. My oh, God. they got oh. it. They got it. They got it. No one got can pick it? it up now, though. Yeah, Zven got it. Yeah, Zven got it. They just can't pick it up. Well, they're getting sucked, sucked and fucked. Damn, dude, this is. I feel like the Tom Kench actually makes this game so fucking hard for C9. Yeah. It's like the, the main target they're going on is just not going to die. And then they've got two sustained champs. Tom Kench is Fairly also beefy. a champion where when he's strong, the game is awful. <laughs> League of Legends yeah. is absolutely shit when Tom Kench is good. 
competitively yeah. at least. To you have to do something more than just eat now. Yeah, though. and also you can't. Oh, I don't that know, was it's kind of OP. Wait, oh. that was a sick engage. What is going on? No one is dying. They don't have damage, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Neither team has damage. Oh, Are you serious, dude? No way. TL of course has the damage. It's GG. It's just GG, oh. man. After an engage like that, Tom Jolty got canceled just now by a spear. What the fuck, dude? Fudge Where'd had they... a really nice engage. He ulted two people, knocked them both up. Like it was a yeah. really good start to the fight, and they just can't kill anyone. Yeah, um, we're, you guys are talking about it with like Seraphine not in the support role. Just, yeah. it looks so much better because he's so much way better. more well running comp. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, the Seraphine Hecarim, I, I just think as a like you pair it with anything that's not fucking like <laughs> what they did last game, and it's so strong. Yeah. I think some of the most discuss. Oh, Fudge failed his knock up. He did it too early, dude. The oh, Bows really? FFS would have done a double knock up there. Yeah. He did it too early. <laughs> Ooh, how does C9 win this one, boys? 6k uh, gold down against... Everybody, everybody on their team comp. needs... So this is why, like, champs and comps like TLs is so broken, is sometimes when, when a team gets ahead, they, they do a shit ton of damage, but they're still vulnerable to dying. TL has, like, basically no chance of dying once they get ahead. Even if the game was going evenly, they would, it would be really hard to die, but, like, having an immortal comp is one of the most oppressive things ever. Just, it completely locks down any chance that you have of throwing. I don't remember Immortals playing a lot of Seraphine mid. I, uh, yeah. I think they're going to need a god to kill these Immortals. That's true. A god or maybe a story about a certain coach. Oh, That's... yeah. One of those could work too. Right, right I think... Oh, my god. Oh, headshot. Holy it's shit. It's a big headshot. Yo, have, have you guys seen how far he's built? He's got that shield breaker thing. Oh, Ser Serpent's Fang? Yeah. I haven't really? seen it. Build uh, right now. I, I didn't. I didn't see. Huh. Well, that's a strange build. I mean, it, it he seems can really build whatever. Pretty he solid wants. for fucking a scion in the ass. That's that's true. Fucking scion yeah. in the ass. There's Everyone's not dream. A lot of shield. I, I guess uh, close to shield bow, and then scion. Looks like they kind of countered themselves bot lane. Callista. Yeah, I'm wondering like what, so. Last week's Ven was pretty obsessed with playing Ezreal and uh, and. Senna. Senna, if I remember correctly, he liked he yeah. liked both of those, and then this week he's just on something new. The Kalista. Yeah. Ooh, that was a big whiff oh, of Senna. Wow. Oh wow, these Seraphine ultis are oh, fucking odd. This So a actually, actually though, guys, is it? It's like cool to see, but Seraphine ulti is actually so easy to hit. I yeah. swear to God, it is so wide and it travels so fast. It's so thick. It's so thick. You're a little jealous, but I, I like the little... man all. Okay, I hate you. <laughs> and we're back with the duo cast. <laughs> Woo! All right, how do they change Tom Cage's E? Just say it's bullshit and they want to get rid of it. His What's E or his Eat? His E. His shield. His oh, gray health. Gray health? Oh, God, yeah. I don't even know about that one. And then his E, I think, makes him way too tanky. And if he's taking damage, he just regens the damage. I don't know. Like it, but it how much different is that than Pike's W, which is also bullshit? There's so many just like game breaking passive, things in the game. Passive, you mean? Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry. But yeah. like his W is what gives him the HP back. That's true. What if. Hear me out. What if Tom Kench couldn't W an ally if they were CC'd? But like you could attempt to W an ally that CC'd and it would just like fizzle the ability and it goes on cooldown. Ew. Ew. That, Fuck, that no. sounds like horrible, how that is that horrible design. That sounds like horrible design, bro. Well, yeah, I, I like, like literally like nine, like literally ninety nine percent of players would play him once and and fail a W and then never play him ever again. Dude, you don't like having to actually use your brain and make him not override every single thing in the game. Media's like, games are supposed to be fun, man. This is why League <laughs> is dying over here, man. And, and American players not having fun playing League. I, I think there yeah, is you, you think the Tom Kench player base is the ones we should be. <laughs> appealing to everyone loves frogs man think the, about all pepe the fun tom is denying in his current state all of my yeah. twitch emotes are frogs dude but we're, we're making the w better not even more <laughs> exactly now no, you're basically just saying stupid, i hate this champion so i'm gonna push all the players that play him <laughs> so, Good, that, dude. so that do they work against I, I i i pray like every night i'm just thankful to the lord that you're not designing league because it's just like <laughs> I'm gonna look at the patch list one day. If you're a designer, it's like, wow, all the champs that I like to play are now disgusting. Like they, <laughs> they're unplayable. Yeah, uh, skill expression, I guess, doesn't doesn't sit well with double lift. <laughs> Dude, need to right click Comedios. all the champs. 
Huh? I, I mean, huh? you're a juggler. Enough said. Yeah, it gets awkward. Jinxu! No matter what. Hell yeah. Jinx is so broken, man. Yep. Jinx is so disgusting that I have a, a positive win rate on her. You know it's got to be OP. <laughs> her LCS win rate is pretty impressive as well. Actually, I, 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 I actually good. unironically think the LCS Jinx players are fucking awful. Like, when I watch them play, it's like cringe how bad yeah, they are. Yeah, I, I was saying that too. Like, I mean, there, there wasn't a lot of it. I think it was like, was it three games? Maybe four? I know yeah. Stixay played it like twice or something, but he was like one of the only Stixay ones. Stixay is like one of the only humans, and yeah, he was playing it. I I don't remember the games because it was probably not the most fun to watch, um, but... I mean, it's Golden Guardians, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, he probably wasn't able to out-carry the enemy's top laner. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jinx is definitely a 1v9 champ, and... She's just baseline good right baseline now. Baseline like, just... Yeah, even if you're not getting resets... You yeah. output so much damage, you actually output a shit ton of CC um, compared to regular AD carries because you actually have a extremely long range slow, root, everything, and man, her ulti is is cracked. Her traps are pretty insane. They really sure. are. I, I think I think one like undervalued thing is you, you chain CC uh, one person for sure, but then there's still two more random traps that people are probably gonna step in at some point. <laughs> like people do not pay attention to the like all three of the little chompers on the ground. Dashing into one of those feels so fucking bad. I know, dude. It's like fucking somebody just socked you in the nuts. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> TL has actually just kind of flipped the comp. Silas, Callista. Yeah. yeah. Seems like Silas is a really common pick when you see Hecarim. Like, mm -hmm. I, at first I was like, oh, he's picking it because he sees Seraphine and GP, whatever. Uh, no, I guess... People in the playoffs think that Silas is just good against Hecarim, but I'm, oh, I'm not Rise, so Rise, Rise. Silas. Rise and Rise. Sion. I know back in the day that was when Silas was actually good, people liked rising to him. Granted, the meta's like changed a lot, but those champions have changed a lot since then. But I think the logic of having a useless ult for him is still there. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. People like picking Rise and Zoe into Silas because like it's just a really low value ult for him. Yeah, that's fair. And, and Rise can definitely machine gun down melees. I, I like Ryze when the enemy team is dive because part of, part of what makes Ryze suck is in team fights he gets zoned and outranged so easily. But like when the enemy team is just melee, he's just machine gunning a million abilities and it's like shotgunning all the melees. It really can do a shit ton of damage compared to like any other mage. Um, so I do, I do like it and I think it's a perfect comp for his Jinx. So I really like C9's comp. Like this is like a dream Jinx comp. Four champs that all have CC. Uh, I love it. And you have Thresh, which is like great safety as well. The only problem yeah, for I C9 agree. is how can they make it out of lane? I think that they might have losing top, losing bot matchup. I don't know 100%, but bot lane 100%, just top, I'm not sure. Remember one game? Oh, I was playing Kate, actually. Wait, I don't know if you saw it. It was like Stordart's fucking nasty ass rel engage. Oh. oh, that was against Sven. Jensen's dead here, yeah. right? Ooh. Oh, Blabber's dead, though, too. Blabber's dead, yeah. Slightly overcommitted. Oh. Just, just miscalculated. Uh, he, he didn't need to take uh, any tower shots at all. So just let Pricks finish it. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not it, okay. Oh, it's definitely not okay for a jungler to die on a trade kill and then the TP come back. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That extra tower Actually, shot was too much. He kind of did need to do that to kill him. Uh, uh, yeah, Silas definitely wouldn't have died if Flabber didn't. Oh, go in, cause he, get, he got an auto and extra, Q on Extra auto Q. I see. Yeah, and, and Perks missed, missed his Q. Yeah. Like, if Perks hit his Q, then he probably wouldn't have needed to, but... The recovery seems alright. Um, as long as Perks does not die here, he, he doesn't have Flash, you get Flash stun, but as long as Perks doesn't die here, I think... Oh, nice. And he cancels him. So, the, I think the tempo gets re-evened up here, because they end up trading crabs, you know, 50 times. Uh, more, well, hopefully more than that, but, you know, at least, like, 50 times. Oh. Right, it's, oh. Holy fuck. Oh. And he's dead! Damn. And he just dies like that. Luckily, he has That's TP. A Kill angle, damn. Yeah, I cor to flash for that. Yeah, that was Nautilus flash committed. Um, he loses nothing really. I think he loses maybe like two creeps, but that was a really sick kill setup. Yeah, that was that was well played by Liquid. Yeah, I don't know. Must, there, I mean, maybe if, if you're planning on not buying the D ring, that I could see it being okay. Bryce is dead here. Oh, is he oh. though? Wow, that ulti oh. by Alfari was so awful. Oh, my God. Ooh. Wait. 
Oh, Jesus. How did Jensen only take one turret shot there? That was like... Was that yeah, insane that was... timing by Jensen? That seemed like a slow-ass second shot coming yeah. in. I don't I think, think he the timed second the tower shot, kills shot well. Does, does the second shot kill him? He needs one more after anyway. I, I think he would live, yeah. Yeah, he'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Blabber Jensen is... Jensen's kind of smurfing. Yeah. Jensen is smurfing. I think he's... Like I said, oh. he's, he's playing much better than Perks in lane. Uh, Perks is... Like, they both get a lot of help. Uh, from from jungle or in in Jensen's case from support, but like it, it feels like it feels like Perks just is so unaware. Like how, how is he getting flanked like this from top? Yeah, he has some fat ass vision. He how has some great get vision, in there? man. Like oh, and this is this is a uh, no flash. Oh, it doesn't matter. Vulcan doesn't have a hook. And Tactual had ulti anyways. Oh man, this is so bad for him. He's got to do the walk of shame back to mid lane, and now Silas <laughs> is gonna have a move timing. One of the worst feelings in the entire game is to have a bot lane matchup where you can't fight and your mid is losing. That means you're going to get dive pressured every wave for the rest of the game and just bleed. Um, Do you think it's okay though because he's jinx? Oh yeah, it, it's fine, but it, the pressure is definitely high on like not ever dying. Because if you die once, you might just chain feed for the rest of the game. Maybe, maybe if it's like, you know, for 2k gold or some shit. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Wow, god, that lands! Tactical died in the only way that he could die, man. Oh my. Dude. Yeah, dude, if that hook hit t Nautilus instead. If it hits Nautilus, wow. Holy shit. And just like that, I think C9 is now in a really amazing spot. Like, Santorin traded Herald and gave over Drag, and now he has nowhere to use a Herald. That's so <laughs> bad. So that, bad. That was brutal. There's only one. Nautilus was ahead of him a second before. Was that Core's fault for getting out of the way? Or is that just like super unlucky? That's I don't know. Tactical's fault for even being in the position to get hooked in the first place. I don't think that you. Yeah. Like, you cannot blame Core for that. Yeah. I mean, it just sucks having to like wait around and jack off, not ever walk up. But yeah, it, it is does. not a tactical fault. It, it, it does suck. Oh, but yeah. yeah, I mean, we're going to see it again. To. Uh, dude, that must be so annoying to play against in competitive. Just. Every two minutes, the eighty carry farms Gromp. <laughs> I would totally fucking do that, dude. That's that's so fun. <laughs> so fun. It's just red side gap, dude. Nothing mm. you can do about it. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you don't want your jungler to play on your side, it's a good plan. I dude, I don't care about jungler plays on my side. If I get fucking one jungle camp farm along with my lane, holy moly! He's huge. I'm fucking. I got the red rocket going, dude. I am so happy. <laughs> Yeah, if they had to like more. hard group. Jensen is getting cheesed here. He has flash. I don't think he dies, even if he gets jumped. Ooh, I like the respect. The he's playing really far away from the bush because he knows he can get killed from the bush. Is it Rise Sion? No, Sion's not there. It's Hecarim. Rise Hecarim? Yeah, it's Hecarim in the middle bush, Rise on the top bush. And he's playing really respectfully. Uh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's no angle. Or oh. is there? Oh, oh, he's oh, oh no, he, he oh, fails. Whoa. He failed. He saw his flash. He saw his flash. Can he flash out uh -oh. over the wall? No, over the wall. he can't. He can't. Oh, he can't. oh wow. my god, that was big. He ulted into the wall. Yeah, that was just a huge misplay. Oh my god. All he had to do was just ult anywhere except for on top of himself. <laughs> yeah, damn. Wait, what's the name of that uh speed item and HP Udyr has? Winged Plague Reeds or something? Winged moon, moon plate? Moon shit? I don't know. Winged moon play, okay. I thought you were trying to make a cum tank joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Herald is looking kind of powerful right now, guys! Oh my yeah. god. I, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Lantern, and they are... Holy sh Double flash. Double flash? Still dead, still dead. He stunned the wrong guy! Oh my god, Alfari stunned Vulcan. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. Slap. Bonk dead. Sion is... Oh, I mean, uh, Silas has Sion. Silas has Sion ult. Is, is TL good at playing dive comps? I don't know. This, this doesn't really seem like something that they play. Yeah, yeah I mean, I don't know if you've seen Alfari volley much. No, but Ball. I mean, Alfari just made one of those really fucking scrub mistakes. He, he literally right-clicked the wrong target. Because if, <laughs> if he stuns Ven there, I'm pretty sure it's it's totally fine. He's not I, going Hurricane, actually. He's going PD. Against quad melee? Uh, yeah, he should go Hurricane this game. Uh, Guys... Uh, the jinxes in LCS are not making me uh, super confident right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> like PD, PD at all. On jinx yeah. or just in general? On jinx, just because Hurricane gets so much value, and if Hurricane's not giving me value, I think Rapid Fire is giving me more value. I mean, but I anytime there's more than one melee in the game, Hurricane is gonna give you value. Like that's almost guaranteed. Oh shit, Jensen dying again. 
Bye yeah. bye. Actually, the whole team. Dude, how is TL just so out of sync? I feel like their tempo is. I, it's such like a fucking meme buzzword, but like what they're doing is so awful. They push out the side lane, they base. Like, yeah. you're supposed to push out the side lane and move between the lanes at least. And yeah, at some point you're going to base, but at least base like in their jungle or like make a play, like use your ults, some trade flashes, make a play, then base. But they they always just like, so far in this game, I feel like they're they're okay with these like small wins. They don't They don't feel like they need to get more. But like you have to get more. Like you're playing Callista Nautilus. Please just push, go mid. Like look for something. Uh, but it's not happening. So yeah, but like if if you kill Sven and you commit everything to it, though, like you're still gonna you're probably just oh, get cleaned up by Rise. Look, they they can't walk up. Yeah, it's oh here we go. Oh oh, of course dead. Okay. Sven is dead. Sven, Sven is, is dead. Front. Ooh. Nope, not dead. Oh, wow, are you okay? Died. You got flash and killed. Ooh. Yeah, that's the thing. Like even Ooh. if you kill Sven, you've got to Rise. Quad Rise is, actually, like, Rise is not the champ you want to just fucking run into. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah Sneaky, yeah, what, 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 what would you do there, man? I would I would honestly have ran into, like, fucking mid lane and just been like, you guys played like this? I'm not auto-attacking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you can't really do anything there. I, I would 100% like... have baited Perk's life so that I could survive. Like, I'm not fucking dying <laughs> here. There's no fucking way. Huh, that sounds like a good team play. Dude, Perks has stopwatch. Like, I'm not fucking walking up. Are you kidding me? My team decided to play like this? I I'm think not hitting shit. Like, in the perfect position. Even then, he still dies. No, he's are you, he's not in the perfect position. He's getting fucking double flanked, dude. I'm, I'm running well, away. He, he can't. He if, can't. If, if you're winning the fight hardcore afterwards, then, like, this wasn't good for TL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think he's in the perfect position because he can't go forward. He can't go backwards more because then he's out of the fight. Yeah, I would literally have just gone out of the fight and said, if you guys are going to play like this, I'm fucking that, out. <laughs> that, that, that's true. That's yeah, true. That, that he could have easily bad. died with doing zero damage. Like, he, okay, died, he did 2k damage. I'll he give made him, way for Rise. Somehow he did 2k damage. You guys are both strong as fuck. Like, why can't they just go on Rise? Because then Jinx will kill him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I think in this kind of situation, if you have two carries who can die, both of them just play up and, Just hope you know. the best? Uh, yeah, yeah maybe, like, maybe. like, 80 carries? If, if, I don't know, I've, I've played 80 carries like that who just... They think if they die, the fight is lost, even if, like, it's a one for five, you know? I, like, I, I'm not a fucking KDA player, but what I would do is I would play really? so far back. Yeah, I'm definitely not. <laughs> huh, I, I would... what you saying before sound a bit like one. I just don't want to die instantly without with doing zero damage. That's not going to help anybody. If they're committing everything, even if they kill you, and they're going to die immediately afterwards, I'd say that's good. Yeah, they, they had to go too deep to kill them. That, that was the problem. Yeah, if they extend to a point see. where they can't get out, then even if uh, you die. Yeah, I, I can see that. I, I I just think he could have easily died doing zero damage, and that could lose them the fight. Like, very easily could lose them the fight, I think. Yeah, what yeah, the fuck I mean, is that's basing on a ward. Kill the ward, beat the sure. lever. Kill the ward. And I think, um. Blabber, like, please I, kill I the ward, dude! Shilbo is more of an angle in situations oh. where you have someone that can give you damage. Oh. Uh -oh. They're gangbangs. They're gangbanging perks! Or are they just dead? Are, are, they, are they getting oh melted? Shotgun. Holy oh my fuck! God. Them, though. Oh, wait, that's a 1k it's bounty. A 1K. Fucking wait. troll, but. Rise got a full void. Oh my god. He still has a bounty even after giving away a thousand gold. Yeah, it's because he's so almost 100 CS dead. ahead. God, his rise, his doing B rise his busters are fucking huge. <laughs> Question mark. Am I doing Question it right, mark? Dad? The fucking yes. fattest dumpy. <laughs> I, I think this is exactly when rise is perfect. It's it's perfect against dive champs. Like you just have to run into rise. That feels awful. Yeah. He's like one of the oh, fucking oh, most. Oh, oh, and here we go. It's yeah, Ben is just gonna kill. Oh my god! It's, it's GG. It's, it's GG. How far he just went it's in completely unwinnable. alone? Penta? Bye -bye. Penta? Maybe. Penta? Nope. Nope. Oh. Rise Triple stole up. one. <laughs> Rise what? stole one. Another quadra. Perk says, "I didn't get a Penta. You don't get a Penta." <laughs> well, yes. that was, dude, that was so such a bad team fight by TL, dude. It felt like they had no idea how to play a dive comp. Like, Alfari went in by himself on Rise. Yeah. I don't know. I, he, he was looking at Jinx too, but he couldn't even catch her. This yeah. Is, this is quickly becoming like one of the most forgettable best of fives because every game is so stompy. Like the first game, C9 played early game comp and just stacked four drags, won the game, barely like any fight from TL. And then the second game, TL just Ooh. rolls them over. Ooh. Jesus, Ooh. they're farming them at the fountain in game three. 
Is it a penta? I don't think so. Oh, wait, how does that not count? I think because if, an if one person uh, oh. respawns, the penta counter gets reset, I think. Really? I think that's how it works. That was Damn. a great game by C9. I mean, it's like two stomps for C9, one stomp for TL. I I hope it goes <laughs> to game five, but like, I guess I'd put my money on C9 right now. It's like TL can only play one style, but C9 can play dive, assumedly pretty well from what I've seen. And, and also they can play this like front to back shit pretty well. So I, I like that C9 has like a lot more draft options than, than TL does so far. Dude, even seeing Ryze get as fed as he was this game, considering Perks' early game, like, he was taking it up the butt. Yeah, it was good recovery by him. He was what getting get pressured fed by of? Nautilus so much. Like, Nautilus was just laning mid a lot of the game. Let's see what draft adaptations we're looking for. They left up Lucian. They banned Olaf, which is weird, because it's been open most of these games. Perhaps a response to the horse? Actually, no, horse was third, right? Uh... I'm not sure about the horse ban. Uh, horse is third, yeah. Okay. Wait, no, no. It's first, I want to say, because it goes outward. So it Thank wasn't you. a response. Which so so that's a little weird, like just leaving up or banning Olaf to leave up Lucian because they've perma banned Lucian the whole series. I think they're finally willing to take a gamble on it and just try to play. They're trying to play double click stuns against Lucian, which I like. I also think Nidalee Lucian is absolutely like not what you want for mid jungle. It's just pure damage, no utility, but. Even later in the game, the synergy is pretty bad because I think Lucian wants either beefy champions to play with or at least something with CC um, so he can do his combo. But I think, it's, I think it's I think it's interesting. C9, C9 has not been able to get an 80 carry mid the whole series, so they must be really good at it. That's the only answer that I can think of. People are scared of it. Yeah. Jinkasu? Uh, uh, no, no, what Ooh. the fuck? Why? What Ash. was that no. biggest switcheroo so I've ass. ever seen? No. No. <laughs> it's doomed, boys. Pack it up. What the okay, fuck? Okay, here, here's their plan. They Ash Arrow somebody, and then they Max Range Spear full calling his ass. Oh my god, they're going to go Ash Lulu against Senna TK. But then their Maybe. bot side is going to be total shit. Look at C9's bots 4 before. There's no way. It's so I, doomed. It, I feel like I like... Lulu more with the Ash. Yeah, I, I actually, this is one of those rare situations where I like Lulu. Yeah, it's good, it's, it's, they do it's it, good yeah. for lane too, but like, you know what? They can retake Vision because they have Ash. <gasps> Holy Wait, fuck. Jinx. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fasting Jinx? God fasting damn. Jinx. Do you think Fasting Jinx is good? It could be, dude. It's I think they should go with Fasting thing. Tom Kench though. I think it's better. Oh. Oh. The Lulu? The stream. It's fasting Lulu. Oh, it's oh my god, they want oh to win that bad. God. They really want to win that bad. <laughs> they whipped out the Dubinator. The Holy shit. <laughs> well, it was a 3-1. <laughs> we can cash in the bets here. C9 better late invade that bot side. Oh, maybe Brom's actually decent here just with Lucian too. It's it's good. They have three auto attackers. Uh, the only thing yeah. I'm worried about is Shinx is going to have the best game of her entire life. She outranges everyone on C9's comp. Yeah. And there's no there's no threat. Like there's no flash stun. There's no jinx. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so easy. Yeah, C9 has to late invade bot side here. If they don't, I don't see how they play this game. I think they have to snowball bot. Oh. Oh wow, Jensen's so cocky, man. He's cocky. He's cocky. Oh, this is, this is Ash. What? This is Ash, boys. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. god, he actually dies? Yeah. Jensen. And, and Wait, Fudge is uh, randomly dying. Everyone's just randomly fuck? dying, man. Die? What Fudge the fuck? Just randomly, everyone is dying. I have no idea. He must have face checked Wait, them. Wait, he's beating his ass. Yo, he's beating holy, his ass. Oh holy my shit. god. If he killed him, that would have been so funny. <laughs> I, dude, this is, this is already becoming a really entertaining one. Who just full on deaths level one? <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, Jensen's one... It's kind of understandable how you can get killed like that. Yeah. But yeah. Fudge, I don't know how the fuck you died of that. He, I think what happened is he's trying to spot replay. the invade, and he ends up getting caught on this, on the, you know, just... Here it is. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's, wow. Wait, he's going Fudge, psycho Fudge just, mode. Fudge just has, like, brain lag. <laughs> yeah, this Jesus. was a... Uh... He even warded, or someone warded yeah, there. why is he warding like, there? Spot for that invade. <laughs> like, him moving there doesn't do anything. 
<laughs> Why does I, he do it through the fucking river? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Look at him beat it. He got a grass proc. Is that worth it, guys? I think oh that's worth it. God, that beatdown was nuts. The beatdown. I really wanted to see him kill. That would have been the funniest shit. Dude, when, when, whenever fucking Scion just starts wailing on someone in his zombie form, it looks so funny. Yeah, dude, I haven't really seen it. I know the the boss does it. The fucking uh, Prowlers? The Predator. Oh, or, yeah, Predator? Yeah, Prowler's Claw. Oh, okay. I was about to say, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Predator? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, but like you do it in the zombie form, right? Yeah, it's so fucking funny. Just jump people and beat them. Beat their ass. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't actually seen it, but I know he does it. It's actually legitimately awful. Like, it's only good if the enemy <laughs> comp has no CC, because if you can CC, you can't hit anything. Oh, yeah. Dude, look at this. Alfari roams mid and perks somehow, Spamming for the first head. time, doesn't die. <laughs> The first room to They're not kill. They're really, exactly. really trying this game. They are really trying. <laughs> they got the Brom. Oh. Ooh. Oh Works no! Too up. slow, man. You had to predict Ooh, that. Wait, Jensen? Huh? That angle wasn't great on the calling. Yeah, the the creeps. He, I mean, yeah. you, you should never really all with the creeps up because they just can't oh. die to it. Oh. Yeah. And oh my God, he's getting flash on. He's getting flash on. He's getting flash on. Oh. Die, 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 dead, dead, wait, dead, dead. Wait, oh. wait, wait. Oh my wait, God. Dead. Oh, that spear. Oh, nice. It was like a glitched flash cue on Spectator. Yeah, this yeah. is annoying. Wow, Wait, how far he's going to be pretty fucking sad about that one. If, if, if Jensen didn't fucking throw his, his ulti. His ulti, yeah. Yeah. If he didn't waste it. Holy shit, what a miraculous fucking play by C9. Like, Perks lives with one HP, and now Top, Top was so fucked. Like, the last time yeah. I looked at Top, Fudge was going to miss two waves, and now he's level six to Alfari's five. Like, that is <laughs> such a huge swing for him. Yeah. Um, this is the second time Alfari is like full rotated mid. Too. Yeah, exactly. And I thought he was dead. Absolutely. I thought I thought Perks was dead. Uh, but no. Damn. Yeah. I wonder if Alfari could have killed him if he just stuck with it, mm -hmm. not backed up. Yeah. He would have. I mean, he was dead for sure. I think, but maybe he could have traded. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. and here we go. He has no flash now. He has no flash. Oh, this could be really shit. bad. Wait. Oh, they failed! They Blabber failed! Did miss the spear. Blabber speared early. Oh no, he's fine now, right? Still dead. Yeah. Still dead. Still had the oh, kill. that's Holy shit. so Alfari. bad. Alfari. Alfari. This is this is a series where Alfari is like gonna be fucking haunted because he just keeps dying to ganks. Like he's not getting solo killed. He's just dying to every fucking gank. That's so sad. <laughs> he's getting dove against Nidalee Renekton, and he's just getting gang banged here. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. For him. Yeah. Whoa, like you missed. Oh wow. I hate that the AI. Weird, on that it's shit. just pure yeah. AI. Yeah, like. Fucking hate the targeting. It sometimes. happens a lot at that weird mid range that he was at, where oh. it's like. Oh, Perks did not see him. No. Yeah. He huh. was pretty fucking close to Santorin. I thought he had vision. Yeah. That was a fast. Just barely even in fog. Flash. I'd like Being to able to know that his. fog around mid is actually so huge for jungling. Yeah, run uh, stun. Th that's actually something I think Tony's really good at as a coach. Like, he helped me a lot with like, I, I always had a general idea of like where fog was, but he like goes into the specifics, like practice tool, like knows where all the fog is and shit. Yeah, that's mm. good. I think that's the kind of stuff like definitely coaches can do to help their players out a lot. How about Papa Smithy? What, what did he teach you? Nothing new, just how to fucking blindside me out of hundred thieves. <laughs> 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 so, so really, nothing new. Like, yeah. actually, unironically, nothing new. It's so, the, the power of repeat ganks, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> blindslide me once, shame on you. Blindslide me twice, shame on me. You haven't heard that saying, bro? Hmm. Something like classic. that. Yeah. So it's Medios' fault. Yeah, of course yeah, it is. It, of naturally. Fucking Medios. <laughs> actually, Perks is going uh, Essence Weaver first. That's... I don't think I've seen that from Lucian. Yeah, I, I, that's that's but... a, that's not a never Lucian thing. I was about to say that's that's normally like a like an eighty carry thing to get relevance damage wise early. But I feel yeah, like Guild Force is pretty good. I, I feel like Lucian has this has this big strength where it really doesn't matter what your first item is. You can solo kill anybody. So <laughs> that's what that's why Gale Force is so strong. It gives you that extra solo kill and like playmaking chance just because your base stats are so high. Yeah. But I can see, I mean, Essence Reaver has an incredible damage output, and it feels really good to have infinite mana, so... I want to say I've seen this Lucian build once during the split. 
I don't remember where, but like I, I do think I've seen a first item essence revolution. I see. Uh -huh. I mean, Pobelter never did it, but I think there was other Lucian mids who probably. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, it was close. It was close. Dude, is that a fucking Hanzo ult? Yeah, it's you the. You see the two dragons on it? Yeah, it's the dragon skin. <laughs> it's wow. literally just a shameless Hanzo ult. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. actually this is actually one problem with C9's comp that I knew they would run into is mid mid jungle two v two is no playmaking because um, there's no oh, synergy, and then so bad. they have to go bot right like but bot has Tom Kent. Oh my god! So you, oh. Wait, Alfari failed. Oh my god! Alfari that failed. That spear was thick. Oh my god! And Santorin might die now. Yeah, he has died for his dead. sins. Oh he had to tank shit! The final. Dude, how is Blabber? Wait, I what's feel going like he's on? Jungle gapping Santorin hard. Oh no. Well, that's some negative damage there. <laughs> yeah, it's because I think he got exhausted, but but still, it was no damage regardless. Oh, no, no, no Vulcan it, exhausted. It didn't, yeah, it did not. What it the just fuck? did zero damage. Yeah. I, I think it's whack tanks can get that tanky that early to the point where you're just, like, sh completely shrugging off everything. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's good. You know, it, it was pretty similar before, too, even without Mythics. Like, a Sunfire yeah. Rush, yeah. it was so unkillable. Sunfire Ninja Tabby made you unkillable. Yeah. Flash, yeah. dude, he failed the flash Ooh. fucking slap. Oh, the arrow! It's no gonna. Cleanse. He has no cleanse. Oh. Bye bye. Oh my god. Oh, oh my dude, god! That it was a, a fat sandwich. Angle. Oh. Holy shit! Wait, are they oh not gonna get anyone? Oh my god! He dies! He dies! Barely. Big spear. Holy oh my god! The Sandhorn didn't even juke. He knew that range. <laughs> or got really lucky. Holy One of the two. Shit! That was so fucking close. How did Fudge die so quickly on his TP in? Was he getting, was he getting pounded before he TP'd in? Cause it felt like he TP'd and he was immediately one HP and then he died to that last Jinx rocket. Oh, that, that was so big. If Tactile didn't get that kill, it was been it would have been extra bad for TL. Oh, I can't believe he failed this. Look at this. Santorin just hesitated, man. Yeah. yeah he just hesitated. Why? Just. What, just what was he really scared cool. of? Do it. I, I don't know. Oh wait, dude, the Oriole was actually so bad. I just realized. Yeah. I thought it was ulting Santorin. Oh, but it was actually, actually his ult. I think Santorin's been having a really like rough series. series. Yeah, it, it's it's not one of his better performances. I think it's not one of Santorin's better splits. Um, I think he's been playing pretty poorly for the most part the entire the entire split. I think in in FlyQuest he was definitely a lot better, and now he's mm. Santorin to me is honestly just good, but he's nothing he's nothing special like he was last split. Is it the power of evil? I think, I, it's, I, think I think it's Poe. I think it's Poe and Ignar that made that Trinity and him. Obviously, he was a part of the Trinity, but that was like a really strong, fucking disgusting combo to play against. Just this power scaling mid laner with a jungler that pathed around him, and then yeah. Ignar who would just be randomly roaming mid at all times. Oh. Holy shit, Hanzo! Uh, of course, it's out of there. Kor just says, See "Fuck this shit." <laughs> See ya, bro. Wow. He didn't pick him C up with the C9 ulti. C9 is really good at looking for mid picks with Scion. Yeah, he's, Wait, he's just really Lucian good at Kraken. it. Wait, Lucian went Kraken. Um, I mean, it's synergistic with Lucian. I feel like it almost feels underrepresented, but Gale Force is actually really good on him he's, too. He's up against three tanky boys, so I can yeah. see the merit. It's definitely oh, a good item for him. Bush, but Jensen's Jensen in the bush. Jensen bush this time. Yeah. Why is that the Jensen push? Because he always <laughs> dies from that bush. <laughs> he's, he gets in fact, that bush oh, do you lot. remember the Silas game where he oh. died near that bush? <laughs> oh, you're right. That's hilarious. He always dies near that bush, man. We we yeah. literally called it the Jensen bush. Hmm. Yeah, he knows it. Like he knows that yeah, he needs I, to like play extra safe around that bush. I I, um, I I feel like for for either AD carry they could have easily again gone hurricane. It would have been okay, but I can understand PD on Ash. I think I, yeah, I think that he's makes actually more sense. decent on Ash. Yeah, exactly. Oh. And, and Tactical, Tactical is oh. not going to do any damage this fight, yeah. He's Spear just had to just get eaten out. Jesus. They're just getting toasted. My god, C9's comp is actually amazing with the Braum instead of Lulu. Like, it feels like a big difference. <laughs> like, unironically, it is actually amazing to have Braum with so many auto attackers. Was that Braum there, though? Uh, yeah, he was. I, I, I think Braum is good any time start. you're playing a comp that... Has auto attackers Ooh, or they have projectiles? Was Holy close. shit, dude! 70 HP! That was so close. That was super close. Taxel was about to fucking run it back, dude. So what were you saying, me, yes? I said, Brom's good anytime you have auto attackers or they have projectiles or you need someone that's unkillable. Yeah. With a lot of hard CC.
Mm. Like, if any of those really niche conditions are met, I think he's good. Huh. Niche okay, I, I don't think that, first of all, I don't think that Brahma's unkillable at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> but, okay. But, but, but Wait, I, all right, I we can see the start of this play. So it was, oh, it was Arrow, actually, yeah. It was just, it was just Arrow, and then Santorin yeah. died before anything. And so Brahm didn't do jack Brahm didn't do shit. Shit. Brahm is broke! Brahm is broken. Holy I don't, don't want to hear it, Sneaky. I don't want to hear your negative dancing about Brahm. Uh huh. Ah, I think the Brom is totally fine here. Wait, I, guys, I just thought Lulu looked juicy too to make Ash look better. Who do you think is the hottest male league champion? I think really? Seth's, Seth's up there, isn't he? How about like Viego? What about no. Brad? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty hot. Oh yeah, I mean it's definitely oh, like. Did you guys did you guys hear that inherently like okay well I don't we don't have to get into it but I was, I'll like just top, finish my thought. Top one to two thousand genres for me in, of music. Apparently, country music is like generally it has like racist tones. Oh my god. Headshot! Dude, They're all dead. TL is just it's getting GD. turbo headshot. Yep. And that's game. It's a 3 1. It's a 3 1. Jeebus. Brom goes fucking in! Let's go, Vulcan. Oh, one the man. one man Orioleti. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Budge dead. What? Dude. Still GG? Uh, is it still uh, GG? Maybe. Maybe. It's oh, they have the Scion now. passive. To Fucking beat I don't know. The Nexus. I don't know. Hey, Wait, Prince is mailing oh, then. Sven. Sven's got it. Sven's got Sven? It. Sven? Yeah. Well, oh, Sven, Sven is like X the only Peke. one trying. Sven is like the only one actually trying. Everyone else is just running it down, like almost just throwing. Trolling. Trolling, man. C9s, honestly, their draft that last game didn't look that good. I feel like they are just. Liquid is playing real off. Like, uh, C9 was finding advantages with Lucian Nidalee mid. Their first two kills were in mid lane. That's well, yeah, that was, okay. that was like but not the Ori one. It's in fault, right? Yeah. There was a lot of yeah. unforced errors, I think, from TL. But I, I really think C9 played really well. Like, oh, yeah, they, they did for sure. They, but Their macro was really good. Better than every other NA team right now. Yeah, 100%. They played well, but I doesn't mean I have to like the draft. Yeah. That's true. You know what? No one's going to force you to do something you don't want to do, Medios, because I respect you, and you have freedom Thank of you. thought. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good point. I do think whatever team won generally just had the better draft from the beginning. Yeah. But I can only tell you that after the win, because that's well, just yeah, I mean, obviously, part of how my big brain works. Because, because like, it, you you really have to say it when, it when it matters the most, which is after the win. That's going to justify it the most. They won the game, didn't they? It's reverse engineering. <laughs> reverse engineering dude i i don't know I, I think more importantly than who who's winning the draft is who's like drafting to suit their team and i don't think tl really even knows what they want like they're alfari spent the entire split playing carries they put him on i guess ergot is a carry but they put him on volibear one of the games i just think alfari had such an off series it's, it's one of his worst uh yeah i mean he's kind of right? the, the, the carry he yeah he, he is the carry Mm -hmm. I think the NAR ban from C9 was actually pretty smart in the series. Like, I think NAR is one of those champs that's like a uh, top laner is able to have a lot of agency on. So when you put him on something that's not NAR, yeah, or like I think Renekton and NAR are probably the two champs that you know can make a lot of plays on their own. Ooh. Did you see Vulcan's tweet and then Core's response? It's not can Vulcan match Core JJ. It's can Core JJ match match Vulcan and Core just reads <laughs> Sup Braum with like a fucking oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Braum's eyebrows going up. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> McDonald's employee of the month. It's pretty what good. Are these Braum players. My god. What are these replies, man? Oh. Do you guys think they're dear. watching our stream, man? Is that why they banned Nar from Sneaky's idea? They picked Braum from Medios's idea? No, dude, I, I, I take character. no credit for Braum. Braum is just fucking broken as hell since the yeah. beginning of time. Yeah, he mm -hmm. is. He always comes back in playoffs, actually. Like, it's timeless. When Sneaky's back is against the wall, he just locks him. Lucian Braum tells his jailer <laughs> to lock Xin Zhao, and they beat every Freaks. Yes, yes.